So, if you've seen part 1 of this series, and a lot of you have, you will have watched the tryhards get destroyed by the mechanical brilliance of the freestylers, and it was super interesting to see how the freestylers coped against the pressure of the tryhards, and vice versa. However, some of you pointed out that, as it was a 2v2, there was a lot of free space to freestyle, and that will be better in a 3v3 because the rotation and positioning of the tryhards would be more prominent. And yeah, I 100% agree, which is why we are back with part 2 of the freestylers vs tryhards, 3v3 edition. So, like always, I opened applications for high champs and grand champs in my discord to apply to be in either team, and picked two teams consisting of three freestylers and three tryhards, and put them in a best of three matchup to see how they fared. Also, just quickly, I recently set the goal for the channel to get 50,000 subscribers by the end of 2020, so if you haven't already, please consider subscribing, it would mean a lot. Anyway, so before we dive into the games, on the Freestylers team we have Rigid, Oblivion and Shadlet, and on the Tryhards team we have Canadian, Aspire and Lumi. All these players are around low Grand Champ, so there should be no huge difference in skill gap, except one team excelling in mechanics, whilst the other in proper rotation and pressure. So without further ado, let's jump into Game 1 and see if the Tryhards can redeem themselves from the crushing defeat of the last video. So here we have game 1, in the blue is the freestylers and in the orange is the tryhards like last video. And it's a pretty good kickoff to start things off for the tryhards. And now Shadlet gets his first opportunity to go off the ceiling, what's he going to do? Looking for a reset, oh he just misses. And Canadian just booms it off the corner wall and leaves Aspire as last man to mop it up. And now Shadlet has another opportunity to redeem himself off the ceiling but oh he has no boost. Rigid, off his corner wall, looking for the infield pass. Oh, that would have been a nice pinch if he landed it. And Aspire again to just put it down. Now Shadlet looking for the boom downfield, gets it past Canadian. Rigid's going to pop it up, where's Oblivion? He goes up. Oh, he just couldn't get there. And Shadlet yet again for the third time, off the ceiling, gets a reset, and just couldn't hit Oblivion up. Now Rigid looking again for an infield pass, and they get the pinch this time. It's just off target though. Now Lumi's up, first to the ball, down to Canadian, oh it's just off the post. Now Rigid, now off the back wall, looking for the sandwich, he just can't land it though. And Oblivion just sits under the ball for a second and Canadian just comes in and says, I'll get you out of there buddy. Now Oblivion with a chance off the back wall, nice little pre-flip air dribble and gets the dunk. And they hear Rigid are racing towards the boost, they both want the boost in the ball, and none of them get it, it's just sitting there, and tryhards run away with it. Oblivion just misses the ball, and Canadian has a shot, and he puts it in! Rigid just couldn't get there in time, and that's 1-0 to the tryhards with a minute 15 left. No one's going for the kickoff here. Oh no, Shadlitz just drove away! Must have been a miscommunication, maybe one thought they were faking, one thought they weren't, but the tryhards would definitely take that 2-0. Now Rigid gets a dunk upfield, he's not going to follow but Shadlet is, gets a reset it looks like but all three of the tryhards commit on the ball. What can Oblivion do here, he needs to do something. Nah but Rigid's just going to come straight through. And that looks like it will be the first game to the tryhards. And Lumi just puts it down and it will be. So we're diving straight into game 2 after an emphatic game 1 win from the tryhards, 2-0 they took that one. And a little fake kickoff here from the freestylers. Now Rigid, gonna take it off the corner wall, he sees Aspire, gonna try and get it past him, but he gets 50 Now Oblivion has to go up for this, and he does, and gets a pretty good clear at that, but Lumi's there. Gonna pop a middle, but no one's there from the tryhards, bit of a wasted opportunity. Now Rigid goes up, off the ceiling with a bit of boost, looks for the reset, I think he got it, but couldn't really do much with it, at least Canadian to pop it up. Spies up, it gets 50 mid-air. Can Lumi put it in? No he can't, and now Shadlet. Oblivion here with a bit of boost, what can he do? Off the air dribble, just pops it off the back wall and gets bumped into a double tap. Now Shadlet, it's gonna pop it high. Here comes Rigid, gets one touch, off the side wall, gets another one, chips the guy in net, but no one's there and Canadian saves the day. Now Oblivion, a little bit of a poor 50 and Shadlet's left to mop it up. And Canadian just booms the shot across net into the corner. Now Oblivion gets a nice little 50. 
Pops a middle to Rigid, who's pre-jumped, but just couldn't quite make the distance. Now, Shadlow's left 1v3, and Lumi just capitalizes on that, puts in the first goal for the tryhards. 1-0 with two minutes remaining. Now, Spy with a shot on net, although it's saved. And Lumi goes up. Might be looking for another touch here, and he does, but Canadian just comes through. Lumi again with a center. But Rigid with a clear. And Shadlow goes up for the follow-up. Pops it back down to Rigid. Who again pops it high, but where's Oblivion? It looks like the tryhards will just get the clear. Oblivion's up. Can I get another touch here? He needs to. Gets the follow up. It's middle to Shadlet. He puts it on net, but it's saved by Aspire. Now Ridges is going to pop it in the corner. Gets the demo, but it leaves the net wide open, and Aspire will just put it in. 2 0. Could be the game there. What can the freestylers do to bring this back? And it looks like they're gonna do nothing because Lumi just puts it straight in off kickoff off the ceiling. That looks like it will be game two to the tryhards, 3-0 this time. So even though the series has been taken out by the tryhards, the freestylers are left to play for their dignity here in game three and start things off with a little kickoff play. And Rigid gets a boomer pinch downfield to Oblivion who is somehow already up for it. Now Lumi, gonna pass it to Aspire off the sidewall. No one's back in net and that's gonna go straight in. Quick counter attack there for the tryhards gets them the early 1-0 lead. Now Lumi to Aspire. Looks like he's gonna do a little freestyle of his own. Doesn't really land a flip reset. I think it's uh, best to leave that one to the freestylers there. Now Lumi. Gonna pop it down, but no one's really there. But the ball ends up back in his lap, and he just puts the shot off target. Now Aspire with a follow-up. The freestylers are all in front of the net. Now Rigid popping it up high. But it looks like all the freestylers committed for this one. All the tryhards need to do is just put it in or pass it to someone who's gonna put it in. And they haven't done that. Spies just pass it straight past Lumi. That could prove to be costly. But wait. Canadian's just gonna follow up and put it straight in. Redeeming themselves there for the 2-0 lead. Now Rigid, coming off the back wall, getting a pinch with Shadlet, again just misses, that's unfortunate, Oblivion gets the follow up, but nothing to do there. Now Rigid with an awkward touch, and Oblivion goes flying past and Shadlet flips away, and leaves the spy just to put in an open net. It's unfortunate. Now Oblivion just going to pop it high, we can follow the follow up, although he doesn't really get it. But can follow up now and puts it on target. Oh, it pinches out and he's bumped Rigid on the way through. A backflip there from Aspire could prove costly and Shadlet just can't get the double tap. Bit unfortunate here from the freestylers as Rigid nearly own goal is luckily for Shadlet. Now Rigid looking for the infield pass and Oblivion wasn't too sure what he was doing there. And another good ceiling challenge there from Rigid. And Shadler pops it back to Rigid and just gets 50. And Oblivion again, but Canadian is there. And Rigid looking for the Brazy, but Canadian just comes through and dunks him and puts it straight in with one second left. No respite there for the Freestylers, and that will be the third game to the Tryhards for the 3 0 sweep. So, to conclude, you should definitely try to summon your inner Freestyler in 2v2, but don't even think about it in 3v3.